Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 The Sith Lords. This will be part 26 of our Let's Play. In the last episode we were here in the Kin... Oh, well, in the Kinrath Caves. And we were... Well, I mean, pretty handily dealing with the Kinrath because... Kind of hard to fight back when you're all asleep. And uh, we found a special crystal cave and I now have my special crystal which I will need to pick up at some point and actually put in my lightsaber. Look forward to that. Okay. Deal with them. Quick heal. Into the actual area. Hola, amigos. Our Master Rook is enclosed in a force field prison of these mercenaries. He regards you without expression. Halt, Settler. This is a restricted area. How the hell did you get through the Kinrath? You should leave. Uh... Why are you holding Master Rook prisoner? He's a Jedi Master? Well, the bounty is going to be that much sweeter then. Nar Shaddai is paying extremely well for Jedi, especially if they're alive. I'm going to say Fair this enough. nice and simple for your little calf hurting head, unless you want to wind up dead. Do you heard calf hounds? Uh, I don't want to fight, but I can't let you take Rook to Nar Shaddai. I warned you, but I'm glad you didn't listen. Attack, men. Well... You're not going to be super glad when I put all of you to sleep. And I dice you to pieces. Because that's what's about to happen here. And... Sleepy time again. Chonk. Chonk. Look, this guy can't even uh, hit me. Because I'm just deflecting all of his shots. Chonk. Whew, taken care of. rushing into action without thinking of the consequences. What? You're expecting thanks? Well, Kunda is sort in of. Danger, and you've ruined the best chance of averting a full-scale conflict. How is that? Uh, how are you going to help in a cage? When an opponent believes that you are defeated, they no longer consider you a threat. And they relax their guard, become bold. Mm -hmm. After I was captured, they talk freely of their plans, enough for me to learn their intentions. I need to get to Kunda and warn them. They could Okay, be in that case, it sounds room. like I did the exact right thing. What did you learn from the mercenary captain? The mercenaries have allied themselves with the exchange and are planning to attack Kunda. They've been holding off for the right moment. Okay. And now, since they lost their captain, they'll attack though? immediately. I'm going to try to reach Administrator Adari. Time is of the essence. Right, so your plan was to sit in a cage and they would just attack at some point, but you were still in a cage, because you can't help if you're in a cage. So, like, ugh, Master Rook's an asshole. <laughs> like, it just makes no sense, let's be real. I'm dead right, you know. How are you going to help from a cage? You weren't. You're just spouting off some rubbish about, oh, well, I'll learn their plans, and then you're going to do nothing with those plans. A dart bag contains orders from Azkul to senior mercenary officers. Notice they have recently made a secret alliance with the exchange plane to an imminent attack on Kunda. With Administrator Adare dead, then the exchange would be able to use Dantween for their illicit activities, completely undetected by the Republic. All, pre all preparations for the mercenary attack have been made. Okay, so... Again, me coming here kind of changed nothing, except now there's a second Jedi to actually, you know, help, rather than nothing as we had before. At the very least, if they'd attacked while Master Vrook was doing his, you know, quote-unquote, master plan inside the cage, then I could have protected them? You are the Jedi I've heard reports of, and I am Azkul, leader of the mercenaries on Dantooine. Okay. Um, I've learned that you're planning an assault on Kunda. That is correct, and I want you to help me. Uh, why would I help you? According to my reports, I have four times as many soldiers as the militia, and I'm committed to taking Kunda. Okay. It is inevitable that I will succeed. If you wish to avoid my men eradicating the people of Dantooine, you will make it easier for me to take Kunda. Of course, I will pay well for your services. Uh, not interested. You better reconsider. I can't have a Jedi interfering with my plans. There is a considerable bounty on your kind, 
that I will collect on unless you're working for me. Um, I can't allow your plans to succeed. Men, I trust you can handle this Jedi. I don't think they can. But I would like to see them try. Nap time. Nap time. There we go. And now we just uh, kill them all. Oh wait, this is a perfect chance for uh, full storm. Just all the full storm. Come on now. There we go. Full storm's pretty good. Kind of hard to beat just being able to hit everyone in a group like that. Although it is fun to um. Like, th this is the, probably one of the most fun, like, quests slash missions in the game. The whole, like, Siege of Kunda being on either side of it. You either, like, side with him and you have to go around sabotaging their shit. Or you side with them and you have to, like, set up their defenses. And it's really fun, but what's even more fun is being like, yeah, as cool, I'm on your side. And you just make sure everything's perfect and then you betray him. I don't suppose you found any of those atmospheric sensors. Uh, in fact, I did. I found three of them. That's great news. My offer still stands. I'll pay you 3,000 credits for all of them. Uh, sounds like it's worth more to you than that. It is worth more to us than that. I'll pay you 4,000 credits for the lot of them. Uh, sure. Thanks for your help on this. Here are the credits, as promised. I'll get this to Zeron when I get back to Kunda. Cool. Easy. Now, how are we doing on XP, actually? Oh, nearly there. Just need another 10,000. <laughs> Easy. Easy. Just 10,000 XP. Yeah, so see all the landmines are up now? It's like when you play it, when you side with Azkul, you want to come out here and, like, disable all the landmines. And uh, do other things inside and, like, sabotage their medical droids and just all sorts of fun stuff. Love it. And actually, with the uh, the reclamation mod, where they restored a bunch of cut content, they really expanded like this entire mission. It got severely cut back in the original game, but in the in the modded like reclamation project, it is just a really fun and really well put together mission. Uh, oh, if it isn't Master Coward, Master Useless. I see you have found the elusive Master Rook. He's told me that his rescue complicated our situation to some degree. I can't say that I anticipated that. Who cares? I thank you for finding him, though. Vrook has informed me that the mercenaries devised a plan of attack to annihilate Kunda itself. I must ask for your aid again, Jedi. This is right, just go. Even no thanks. Them, the mercenaries have to gather their forces, then coordinate their assault. So we still have time. I'm afraid the militia has not been adequately trained for the task that befalls them. Uh... Can you give me anything to help? I have instructed the militia and other Kunda personnel that you are to be provided with anything that can be spared. Unfortunately, that isn't much. That's fine. What can I do to help? Our militia is effective at peacekeeping, but isn't prepared for a full-scale battle. If you can do anything to ready them for the reality of it, that would be helpful. Besides okay. that, look around Kunda and see what you can do to strengthen our defenses. I know that we don't have the perimeter turrets online, and that alone... <laughs> Must have you laughing in the background? Defense. Zeron says it's not a laughing a matter, my friend. They will breach Kunda itself. Anything you can do to slow them down could turn the tide of battle. Sure. Uh, check out Kunda's defenses. Here is a Mastercard key that will open all of the security doors inside Kunda. Anything that might aid you in your task, please use. Soon, sure. all the civilians will be evacuated. So, if you have any business with them, I suggest you take care of it. Whenever you are ready to finalize the defenses, talk with Zeron. Sure. Uh, do we actually have any quests left? Not really. Uh, I'll tell Zeron about that. Uh, yeah, that's that's it. Okay, Zeron. I was right about you. You are trouble, but you might just be the right sort of trouble we need. The I like you too, Zeron. To mobilize, so you have time to do what you need. Or are you ready to finalize the defense plans? Uh. I cleared out the Kinrath cave. So you did. Here's the credits I told you about. 
Even with the caves cleared, I imagine it'll take some time before the Kinrath aren't on the plains. That was very helpful of you. You've saved some lives today. The mercenaries aren't quick to mobilize. No worries. No, yeah, 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 gotcha. Uh, I'm gonna see what I can do. ready. Just want some more experience, and then we'll go have a walk around to see what happens. I don't suppose I can get you to help, Thanks Suru? Thanks for the help. I plan on... Okay, guess not. We'll keep walking around and see if we can find more people. Receptionist. Back to... Yeah. Out of the way, please. Right, you two not being very useful. That's just a set lock because our good friend, like, Gerovic is gone. Uh, private door. Nope, can't open that one. What about this one? Security door. There we go. Ah, yes, this is our, uh, some medical bay. Tree words. Thanks, stranger. Okay, I think I can also just get the droid to do it. Reactivate the droid. Reactivate the droid's automated healing subroutines. Boom! Whole bunch of militia back on duty. Ooh. Door appears to be stuck closed. Guess we'll go check that out in a minute. Ah, security door. Nice. Uh, broken droid. Uh, okay. I won't do that. I will get Just Atten to slice word. the computer. Slice the computer. Uh, defense droid status. Defense droid's inactive. Change defense droid target priority. No active defense droid. Change... Oh, okay. I need to need to fix the droids first. Obviously. And they even provide a workbench so you can make some parts if you need it. Okay, defense droid, reactivate him, optimize his weaponry, targeting systems and shields, modify his programming. Ah, okay, so I can't do that. Right, but there's one. While trying to reactivate this droid, discover a hydrous mana lodged inside of it. The name Akare is printed on the handle of the tool. Interesting. Uh, boom, boom, boom. So that's where he's been getting his droid parts. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. I hear you. And then we'll get Atten to uh, deal with this. Defense droids to defend hostiles. No, we will not do that. Engage droids in patrol mode. Patrol mode will engage automatically when the base is on alert status. Cool. So they are ready to go. So we got droids. We got some militia back on their feet. It's weird that there's like these private doors. I guess this is just more cut content, right? That they have these doors that you just literally can never open. Which is a bit weird. Uh, can I get Baron to do Sarah things? Was right about uh, the mercenaries all along. I guess fair my enough. ego clouded my judgment. Uh, private door. I think there's anything to do in there. Private door. Security door. It's in here. Turret control station. Aha. Uh, slice the computer. Turret status. Turrets are acting instead to attack friendlies and hostiles. Turrets are acting instead to attack friendlies and hostiles. Change turret targeting priority. Uh, reprogram turrets to attack only hostiles. Yes. Turrets are programmed to attack hostiles. Cool. Weird that you'd have the turrets set to just shoot everything, but... You know what? Sure. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Okay, so I can get out this way. Nice. So go talk to a care. And we will... What's the other thing we have to do? I think you can also plant more landmines out there if you're that way inclined. Can we mess with the turrets? Oh yeah, we can, but we don't want to. Um, a care. So many things for sale. Found this hydro spanner. How's your name on it? Hey, found my tool. Yes, I've been looking for that. Where'd you find it? Uh, inside of a broken droid. What's your explanation? Uh, I've been caught. Yes, I'm guilty of stripping the droids and selling their parts, but I have a good reason. Uh, tell me. I see terrible news. My brother's second wife is with child. She's become ill and cries medical aid. Her condition is life threatening. Doctors have to us and not treat her without full payment up front, but my brother doesn't have any money. All the moon has turned and my semi brother enough credit to pay the doctors. Believe me, I'm normally a very honest person. The situation made me desperate. Please, believe me, don't you? Um, ooh. Do I be a pushover? Yeah, I will. I believe you. Please take 500 credits to help you. I guess I got paid 4,000 credits for those atmospheric sensors, so I can afford to 
you know, part with a little bit. Uh, I thank you so much. Gratitude for your discretion. I'll give you a discount on my goods. Cool. Don't really want it, but why not? So it seems one does not need to be in touch with the force to act with compassion. Uh, it was a small act, nothing more. It may seem like a small act you did, but some things travel, and more good may come from it. I am honored to have seen a Jedi behave as a Jedi. It was not something I still expected to see in this galaxy. Okay. Um. Thanks, but such words are not necessary. As you wish. Let us continue on then. Cool. Uh, Sorry, this door is blocked off. Uh, this door is hey, locked. Get away from that door! The last time somebody messed with it, it was locked down for months before we could fix it. Okay, I think we actually want to lock this. I'll just save real quick, just to be sure. Sorry, this door is blocked off. What door is locked. Okay, I think if we touch it one more time, it gets locked. But I think it like stops the mercenaries coming in there. What did I? Oh, unless I have to like, hang on. Can you... Atten, do you have, like, a stealth belt on? No. I don't think I can get one. Wait here. Oh, there we go. Security is malfunctioning. It would be relatively easy to hack open this door, but you'd never get it to close again. Security of the building would be compromised. Um, <clears throat> lock down the security door. The door is now secure. In fact, it's so secure that nobody will get this door open again anytime soon. Nice. That's what we want. Just never mind the fact that he went invisible. Right next to the door. The door suddenly went bloop, 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 and locked permanently. And then he suddenly became visible again. I ignore that. Alright, but I think we're about ready for this, uh, this assault. We have about as many upgrades and sort of people here as we can manage. Uh, I thought we might have like another another um, what do you call it? Another offhand blaster but no, we're still having to use a modified holdout blaster. Uh, Master Rook, you got you any words to say? Said, Each of us has to do what they can to aid in the defense of Kunda. See where you can lend a hand. We'll have time to talk more when this is all over. All right. Uh, Zeron? I was right about you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm ready to finalize the battle sure. plans. Once we're done with that, there may not be any time left before the mercenaries attack. Pretty sure. Done all I can. All right. Then we got a lot to do. You know. Yeah, you I did all the things. Kunda's defense, I will hurry to the mercenary camp and delay their assault however I can. Yeah, that's right. Nice that I'm here, isn't it? You giant I asshole. I that the mercenaries have got two goals in this whole thing. Kill me and kill the administrator. The rest of the settlers won't have courage to resist if they succeed. Makes sense. Um, there isn't anyone else that can rally the settlers? It's not that the settlers aren't good people. Many folk just don't have the fighting mentality rather just make people happy and get along. But there isn't any okay. getting along with Asgol. He's out for blood and taking the place over. So we gotta protect the administrator. Kunda can go on without me, but not without her. The administrator's locked up in her office. Okay, so she's I, like the final the defense. Have to go through us and Kunda's defenses. It isn't gonna be easy. I suspect we're gonna have to fight on the inside. They've got three entrances. They're gonna try and break in. Here's the front door. Yep. The security door on the side. Locked down. The garage door and back. We got three That's squads tricky. of militia. We can assign people to the front, back, or inside. Backside has to guard two entrances. The front will have to fight more people, and the inside will have to deal with any that break through. So, where do you think the first squad should be deployed? Uh, tell me about the squads. First squad is most experienced. The only squad that could go blaster to blaster against the mercs. Second squad has a lot of passion, but no experience. Third squad is new and not trained too well, and they may break in combat. They need a good leader to make them effective. So, where do you think the first squad should be deployed? Um, they should definitely be the main entrance. The battles that had the least dying were always led by Jedi. I'm gonna go with what you think. 
Or do you want the second squad? So they'll be out the back, by the garage. All right. Or do you want the third squad, the new recruits? And I guess they're inside by the administrator's door. Fine by me. The last question is, where do you want to go? Either the front or the back. I'll take whichever one you don't. That way both sides have leadership. Um, I'll try covering the two back entrances. The back? I suppose that there is more ground to cover with the two entrances. All right. I'll like, I've left front. you with the veterans the on the front. Stay in your area. We both have to guard our half of the battlefield. Come over to me and the mercs will just charge straight into Kunda. Thanks to you, they're going to have a tougher job. Yeah. That's about it. Now we just need to dig in and wait for the mercs to come. Um, have you talked with the men? Well, I'll tell them what's there to do. I'm not much for Because, yeah, like, I've left him with the most experienced ones on the front. That's the best chance. Like, I'll look after the, the crappier ones at the back because I'm the better fighter. Um, I think they could use some encouragement. Maybe I can speak to them. All right, I'll assemble the men. I hope you can speak good. I do speak good. Uh, remind them their friends and family are counting on them. What we're about to do is dangerous but important. Important for friends and family. Enemies want to take everything we're taking from you and we have to give it our all to stop them. So look around you. That's what we're fighting for. Each one of us has to back the other up. We can win this if we work as a team. Okay, something like that. With words than me. I think it'll really help. Let's get ready for the mercenaries. If we fall here, all of Dan Twain falls with us. Okay, uh, they kind of like that. Some of them did. Tell me what you see. Probably could have done a better. Uh, mobilizing the militia. Looks like a lot of activity down there. Could have done a better speech, be maybe. It won't be of any use. The plan doesn't change. Captains, prepare your men. Their leader, Administrator Tarina, must not survive the battle. Everything else is secondary to that objective. I should probably could have put the veterans on the back. With, like, Zeron. And they only had one entrance to actually defend because I locked the other one down. And then I could have taken, like, the shitty people on the front. Then I could have pulled the weight for all those... For all those, uh... Shit people. Nice. But that'll thin it out. Yeah, and there's turrets on the front, like... Best chance on the front, I think. Uh, yeah, we'll just stick with the team. The A-team. Yeah, that'll be fine. Hi, gentlemen. Sleep time. Sleep time. Okay, there we go. Sleep. And we'll just start throwing out some poor storm. And another one. Nice. And we'll just, again, like, keep uh, throwing out a stasis field. There we go. That's fine for everyone. Just absolutely butchered them. Okay, so we got another wave. That's okay. Again, we dealt with it. Ooh, although they have the unconsciousness masks. I think this means they can't be affected by the stasis field. I think. Let's double check. Well, they don't seem very worried. Okay. I think this means it's time for lightning. Just keep the lightning coming. There we go. And I'll throw out a heal. Well. God, that one guy at the front. He's the real hero here. Alright, so can I... So can I actually stasis field them at all? Or is it just completely new? No, okay, I can stasis field them. Maybe I was just getting real unlucky. Shot. Sure. Okay, nap time for you as well. Atten. We've lost too many soldiers. Fall back inside. Fair enough. I mean, glad to see you're still alive, Zeron. Obviously, it worked well for you. You know, obviously, it worked out. 
I take it you are responsible for this. <laughs> That's a lot of very threatening droids behind them. Stand aside. Our quarrel is with a distinguished administrator. This isn't your problem. Um. You can still back away. You have no idea who you're talking to. I was going to spare your worthless life. I see I was in error. I was trained at yeah. Max Academy. Your tricks won't work on me. You're just another dead Jedi to me. No, Sorry, I was you're not going to be trained very like well, because I'm going to you delete you so fast. Kill them all. Uh, nap time. Oh yeah, you were trained at Malix Academy. Oh yeah, that seems to, have, seems to have worked out so well for you. Look at all that Malik training. Ooh, such a badass. Wow, can I not hit you with the Force Battle with that Force Storm? Is being immune to Force Storm even a thing? I guess it kind of must. Thank you so much for your aid. Yeah. You can be sure just Don destroyed him. I put him to sleep. Just chopped him off. Uh, I'm happy to help. We are a humble community, and this conflict has greatly diminished our resources. I hope this reward will be sufficient. Ooh. Look, I don't need 4,000 credits, just keep them. Use them to rebuild a statue or what Rebuild Kunda. Or whatever. Use. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much work to do. Don Duin will be slow to rebuild. Like, honestly, I am confident who cares? now that we will one day achieve prosperity. Kunda is safe oh. in no small part. Yeah, like 4,000 credits, we earned that from the other I thing, and I really haven't spent much. Have I think I've basically got my assistance. end game gear on me now. For the in most any part. case, I am free to talk about whatever you wish. Uh, where are all the Jedi? There are a few of us left, but I do not even know if the others still live. We may be the last. We've been forced to divide our forces and retreat no, to one places more Jedi which Master will be left. difficult for our enemies to detect and attack. Uh, where are these other Jedi? We have chosen to hide our presences from each other so that the discovery of one will not endanger the others. But how can you contact each other? Oh, sorry, there must be a way to assemble all the Jedi. We cannot. And we have resolved not to until we have found where the Sith are striking from. But even as our numbers thin, there is still no trace of them. We had hoped to outmaneuver mm. them. By letting them believe themselves victorious, we thought they would become bold and step from the shadows. Yeah. They don't do that. Yeah, like, and what then? Then, all of us who remained vowed to meet here on Dantooine. From here, we can plan a course of action and carry the battle to them. But so far, they remain in hiding. Seems to be working. And Jedi continue to vanish and die. I'll talk about something else. You have more questions for me? Uh, I need to know why you cast me out of the order. Because you defied the Council and followed Revan to war. And from that war came another. Do you know how many worlds were destroyed in those wars? Dantooine, Telos, Sirocco? Do you see now why we counseled caution instead of action? You okay, but come back and face they would have all been destroyed if we hadn't gone, so you fuck you. Your connection to the Force. Another casualty war. No doubt you still blame us for your exile. I had hoped your isolation would give you time to reflect on what had happened, what you had done. But I see it is not. You Rude. have more questions for me? Uh, why did you cut me off from the Force? We did nothing to you. Accuse us if you will, but it will not change the truth. Cutting one off from the Force. Such punishments are reserved for only a few. Although it was within our power, we did not inflict such a loss upon you. Your loss was a casualty of war. No more. Okay, so it happened during the war. Uh, but I've re-established my connection to the Force. Perhaps it is Dantooine, but I do not feel such from you. I feel nothing but what I felt in the Council Judgment Chamber on Coruscant so long ago. Still, you and your connections were often a subject of debate in the Council. Hmm. It is possible that returning to known space, journeying with others, has caused the Force to stir within you again. You have more questions for me? Okay. Uh...
Let's say they revealed themselves. Have they? I've seen no evidence of them upon Dantooine. Only murderers and raiders. Yeah, but that's because you don't see anything. They exist. They've already attacked me. Why would they attack you? There are no Jedi. You cannot feel the Force. Well, yeah. I don't know. They believe me to be a Jedi. For some reason, I believe you. Still, I am curious as to how they would know to find you. Your trial was not public knowledge. Regardless, these Sith have struck, and you survived. This is more knowledge than I had before. And that means the Jedi may gather. If you can find mm. others, or find some trace of the Sith threat, then we shall gather here on Dantooine. And from there we may decide what can be done. You have okay. more questions? Well, that's the plan. Uh, nah, I'll be going. I suppose there is something I should show you. It will keep you alive long enough to prove useful. When you are facing a long campaign, you need to be more conservative with how you use your force energy. Nah. This form gives you increased force affinity. In simple terms, it helps you to quickly regenerate force energy Ooh, in the middle of a fight. Pretty good, actually. Cool. I don't know how you learned that so quickly. Still, your form is sloppy. Keep practicing to tighten it up and you'll be fine. I excuse me? <laughs> um, cool. Let's level up, though. Uh, we'll take repair, persuade. Uh, we'll put some into tree injury, actually. We kind of don't need it now that we have the force. Like... It's just sort of better in every way. But. Okay, so we're going to go Force Shield, Force of Valor, Night Speed. Nah, we'll go Valor. We'll get all the basics, like, in line. Uh, Atten, you just do your thing. Feats, what do we want to give you? It is actually kind of tempting to give you heavy armor, to be completely honest. Um, don't really want focus on melee weapons. I guess we'll just go precise shot, since we have nothing better to give you. Uh, disciple, honestly, who cares? I, disciple is by far, like, my least favorite character in this game. He's just so boring. Ugh, I hate him. I hate him. Nice. Well, we kicked their ass, though. I like how, oh, we've lost too many people, we need to retreat inside. And I'm like, don't know what you lost on your side, mate. I'm fine. <laughs> like, my my side was brilliant. I don't think we lost anybody. So, don't know what, what crack you're smoking. But I at least was winning. Okay, I don't think there's any loot. Oh, no, there's some loot over there. Okay, we have one piece of loot just here. Yoink! A thermal detonator, though. That's pretty good. Cannot complain about that. Yeah, I love uh, old Azkul talking, talking mad shit in the middle of Kunda Outpost where there's like three giant droids right behind him with shields up and guns trained on him. Um, sorry, I'm just going to run back inside because I just realized... It's probably loot from Azkul that I didn't pick up because it just teleports you straight to straight to the inside. Any loot here? Well, no, actually there isn't. Oh, there's loot here. There we go. Right, it was here, sorry. Mandalorian Assault Armor, that would be what Azkul had. Awesome, well we'll just speed mode our way out the door and back to the ship. Eh. Back to the ship, where we're going to kit up our lightsaber and a short lightsaber, and be ready to go. Unnecessary oh. observation. Targets acquired. Annoying recitation. Let us proceed. Recitation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nap time, assholes. Oh, wow, you didn't have nap time. Wow. This is one resilient droid. Jesus. Mm -hmm. How how'd that go for you, HK50? 
You, you gave me the power attack and just reflected it directly at you. It doesn't, doesn't feel like that went terribly well for you. Did it. Did it. Oh my god. Uh, Mr. Kelborn, what is it? I received an urgent communication for you from Kavar. Return to the camp as soon as possible, and I will tell you more. Okay. Uh, so Kavar is trying to reach me. I expect as much. Uh, yeah. Okay, I got the message. I I got the message. Oh my what god. What do you mean, Pazak? What again? This is Ronto Scrag. What house rule says I have to go first? Yeah, well, I'm still not convinced you aren't cheating. <laughs> Warning, if you draw another plus minus one card, I will enact assassination protocols. <laughs> Lloyd is cleaning me out. Uh, what are you playing? Zock. Well, I'm playing. It's cheating. Nice. Whatever, cheater. <laughs> uh, can I play? Sure, but I don't have any more credits to bet, so it's Republic Senate rules. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be going now. I will, but not right now. Well, oh my check god! Check it again. It can't be anything else. Just check the damn connector. I don't trust the diagnostics any more than I trust you. Because I don't like droids. <laughs> they break in the head. So do people. To well, be fair. whatever you call that thing on your head. Yeah. Well, if I'm mean to you, it's because I care. <laughs> oh my god! It just keeps going. Let me leave. Let me leave. Ooh, that's menacing. Statement. My memory core has suffered some damage. Statement. Yet somehow, a gap in my circuits makes me feel as if I should remember you. Statement. This is all the more important since during my routine inspection of all potential escape routes from this vessel, I made an interesting discovery. Observation. The Nava computer is voice locked. As a consequence, you are now responsible for course corrections and astrogation. Mm. Statement. That is indeed a great burden. It also raises many questions. Query. Why would someone lock the Nava computer? Answer. Presumably to hide where one has been. Statement. I believe you've been somewhere. Somewhere you wish to keep hidden. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <clears throat> okay, I can finally move. Guys, we're going to have to leave this episode here, so thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the videos on there. If you think you know any friends might enjoy my content, make sure you share a video too with them. Really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback for the videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comments section down below so I can see it. And I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>